Hey, what's up guys? Jason here again doing a, a, a long-awaited video response to a good friend of mine here on YouTube, uh, Dion Stapp. And uh, yeah, I met I met Dion over on uh, the Fans of Horror site that was created almost a year ago. And just to let everybody know an update on that, that's actually going offline on I think the 20th. So that's like, what, Friday? So, after that, the, the site won't exist anymore because I don't really want to put any money up on it because nobody's going on there. So, anyway, just a quick update on that. And uh, all you guys that are on, uh, still are on the uh, Fans of Horror, you know, you're welcome to contact me here on YouTube and, you know, email and all that good stuff. But before I get started, I'll show you a new shirt I just got in today. Team Lucio. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. I've been waiting on this to come in the mail for a little while. And uh, just showing it off. Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to do this response to Dion forever. Like, like seriously, like three weeks. But um, just haven't had a chance to do it. But um, he posted a video up or some uh, some Asian films that he's been watching lately. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've seen lately. And a lot of these are recommended to me by other YouTubers that you'll probably recognize. So... Uh, here we go. This is Living Hell. Well, this is a Japanese film, I believe. This is like a shitty rental case it came in, but this DVD is out of print, and I, I was able to pick this up for not not too much, but it's a decent film. I recommend this to some of you guys. I actually watched this twice because a lot of these movies I ended up watching like really late at night, and I always end up falling asleep. So uh, I had to watch them over and over again before I could get a good feel for the movie. So, But this is a pretty cool film. It's, it's basically about a, a mother and a daughter that, that move in and basically just torture this guy, this, this guy in a wheelchair, for the entire movie. So it's pretty cool. There's some creepy moments in there. It's it's different. This is a, it came out in, uh, let's see what year. Uh, shit, I don't, I don't see it on here, but... It's an older film. It came out, uh, actually, I take that back. I think it came out in like 2000. It just looks older than it is. But a uh, decent film, Living Hell. Some of you guys would like that. A lot of cool torture scenes in there. Next, I have Evil Dead Trap. Oh, this was recommended to me by Killer Rodan, the user Killer Rodan on, on YouTube. And he did a review on that, and that was a really cool review. Evil Dead Trap, released by Synapse. Um, this actually may be out of print as well, but this is another Japanese film. And uh, I enjoyed this one too. It's I had to watch this one twice as well. I finally finished watching it last weekend. Um, kind of different. This film is from the 80s, I think. Jesus, doesn't put... Yeah, 1988. So... Uh, from the 80s, so it's a little different feeling than some of the newer, you know, J-horror films that are coming out with the girls with long black hair. You know, that was kind of the, the thing, the popular thing there for a little while. Seems like whatever, um, shit, I can't think of the company, but a lot of companies were just putting out, you know, whatever crappy J-horror film they could find, and people were buying it for a short period of time, but that bankrupted a few companies, so... Not doing it anymore, but it's a shame because there's a lot of good films that, that are over there in Asia that are not being released. A lot of films from Hong Kong, like this one here. This is another uh, Asian film, Hong Kong, The Untold Story. It's recommended to me by Mike, uh, formerly the 81 Oak Ridge channel, or Sadist at Heart 666 is his new channel. I'll post a link up on here, but all you guys probably already know Mike. This is one of his uh, favorite films, I believe, or a film he likes a lot. He recommended this to me, and I, I've been trying to get a hold of it for, seems like, months now, and I just really haven't. Found it for a decent price. I ended up paying a little more than I wanted to for this, because I think this is out of print as well. I'm not sure. If it's not, it's, it's kind of hard to find. But uh, film from Hong Kong. The, uh, the alternate title of this is Human Pork Chop, so that kind of tells you a little bit what it's about. But uh, directed by uh, Herman Yao, 
and he also directed the film Ebola Syndrome, which seems like a lot of people on YouTube are talking about lately, and I actually watched Ebola Syndrome before I watched this, and they're, they're similar films. I think this is a is obviously a, a film that's a little better made, you know, a little, seems like the budget's a little bit higher, but, um, yeah, both about, both about, about eating people, so I don't know if, if Herman has a, has an obsession with, with cannibalism or what, but they both use, you know, their, their, their profession as chefs or whatever to, um, you know, get rid of bodies, and, Sorry to say it, man, but I, I actually think I like Ebola syndrome a little bit better, just because it was a little more, a uh, little, a little more campy, I guess. But this film, I was I was expecting to be more serious than it than it was, but I did enjoy it. Uh, good film. Thanks for the recommendation, as always. And Mike, Mike always has has great recommendations. I always take them to heart and try to pick up all the stuff he recommends. And this is another film he recommended, Grotesque. And uh, this is, I think this is unrated, or uncut at least. I hope it is. I don't know, he'll let me know if it's not. But uh, this is the version that I saw, and the Japanese film, obviously. And this is really just a, an hour and a half long torture scene. It's pretty much all the film is, and uh, it's it's a rough watch, I gotta say. Unless you're really really into torture films, I, I'd say stay away from it. But I did enjoy it for what it was. I'm not a huge torture fan, you know. I mean, I I can watch it, but that that was a little too much for me, just because it 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 lacked a little bit of a plot, you know. And it is like they say on here, uh, saw and hostile were just appetizers. I would agree with that. Because Saw and Hostel have a lot of scenes that aren't just straight torture, but towards the end of this film, there's a there's a really funny scene that I enjoyed a lot. I really cracked up. But um, so check this one out. You you know who you are if you would like this. So um, you know you sickos probably already seen that. But uh, that's just some of the Asian films I've watched lately. Um, sorry about the the late video, Dion and. Um, Take it easy, everybody. Talk to you next time. Peace.